that thing on? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lady Diana Frances Spencer, perhaps the most iconic royal figure in modern history, was born on the 1st of July 1961 in Sandringham, Norfolk, England. As almost everyone would know, the former Princess of Wales passed away on the 31st of August 1997 in a vehicle accident in what would become one of the world's most speculated conspiracies of all time. Lady Di, as the media often called her, will forever be remembered as the people's princess and by all standards, one of England's most adored public figures to ever grace the front pages of newspapers all around the world. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Known expressly as the first wife of Charles, Prince of Wales and the heir to the throne of England, Lady Di was always engaged in her care for charity and philanthropy that won the hearts of the people. She also worked hard to gain the affection of the public and is remembered as the loving mother of both Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, and Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. Diana was born into minor nobility, the daughter of John 8th Earl Spencer and Francis Nee Roche, and spent most of her youth in Sandringham, growing up in Park House, situated on the Sandringham Estate, until the age of seven. She spent most of her childhood with three siblings, her older sisters Sarah and Jane, and younger brother Charles. She would have had another brother, John, but he sadly died at birth. Diana was homeschooled for the first few years, supervised by her governess, Gertrude Allen, but later attended Silfield Private School in Gayton, Norfolk. Diana moved to Riddlesworth Hall School, an all-girls boarding school outside of Thetford, Norfolk, when she was nine years old, and thereafter, in 1973, she joined her sisters at West Health Girls School in Seven Oaks, Kent. While she may not have distinguished herself in academics, Diana did excel at music, sports, and dancing. She was a talented pianist, swimmer, and also participated in ballet and tap dancing. In 1967, when Diana was six years old, her parents divorced, which became an event in her young life that some believe affected her greatly. Diana described her childhood as unsettling, saying that she was unhappy most of the time and that her young life was incredibly unstable. During her parents' separation, Diana lived with her mother in London, who later married the entrepreneur Peter Shan Kidd. However, during the Christmas holidays when she visited her father, he didn't want her to return to London and eventually regain custody of Diana with the help of his former mother-in-law, Lady Fermoy. In 1976, he married his second wife, Rain, Countess of Dartmouth, but Diana's relationship with her was uneasy. Diana described her as a bully, and at one point was said to have attempted to push her down the stairs. Despite the upset of her early childhood, Diana moved on with life, but never seemed to catch much of a break, and in 1978, she moved to London, where she lived in her mother's flat with several roommates, working in a variety of dead-end jobs to make ends meet. She worked as a dance instructor, a party hostess, a preschool playgroup assistant, and also did cleaning work for her sister Sarah. In 1979, her mother bought her a flat for her 18th birthday, where Diana lived with roommates until she married Prince Charles. Lady Di gained prominence in 1981, following her marriage to the Prince of Wales, receiving a warm welcome into her title as Princess of Wales. Diana spent most of her time as princess undertaking duties on behalf of the Queen, representing her at numerous functions. The media celebrated Diana for her unconventional approach to charity, as she involved herself closely with numerous movements that included helping AIDS patients, the mentally ill, as well as children and the youth. Her image as princess, often noted for being shy but charming and friendly, won the hearts of the people and gained her international acceptance as well as fame. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Diana was a celebrated fashion icon, often regarded as one of the most photographed women in history. Sadly, she lost her title as princess when she divorced Prince Charles in 1996, as the marriage fell apart due to extramarital affairs. Shortly after the divorce's finalization, Diana met her tragic end in a car accident in France. While the accident remained the subject of speculation for years, 
and became a conspiracy theory of modern hype. The ultimate blame of the accident falls upon the reckless driving of Henri Paul. The accident also claimed the lives of Diana's companion and lover, Dodie Fayette, with the only survivor of the tragedy being Diana's bodyguard, Trevor Reese Jones. The accident happened in the Pont de l'Alma tunnel in Paris, while attempting to escape pursuing paparazzi. While the truth about the accident remains speculative, the truth about Diana's relationships is all too well known. During her marriage and after her divorce, Diana had several rumored romantic interests. Nonetheless, more than 32 million people in the UK watched Diana's televised funeral and even more around the world. Numerous commemorations to her passing were erected all around the world too, with one at the site of the accident and another even in Austria. On the day of her funeral, by order of the Queen, the Union Jack flag over Buckingham Palace was lowered to half mass in commemoration of Diana, an action never seen before. Since then, it has become a tradition of royal mourning, or whenever a member of the royal family passes away. For years, the Spencer family was allied with the British royal family, and even leased their park house home from the Queen. As a young girl, Diana often played with the Queen's children. Prince Edward and Prince Andrew when they would visit Sandringham Estate on vacations. However, Lady Diana only met Prince Charles in 1977 at the age of 16 in November of that year, whilst Prince Charles dated Diana's oldest sister, Lady Sarah. Then in the summer of 1980, during a country summer vacation, Prince Charles took first notice of Diana as his possible bride-to-be. Diana had watched him play polo and the relationship between them took full shape after he invited her on a voyage aboard the Royal Yacht Britannia, sailing over the weekend around the coast of the Isle of Wight and into the seaport town Coes. Prince Charles followed up the leisurely activity with an invitation to the Royal Scottish home at Balmoral to meet his family. A warm acceptance of Diana by the Queen and Prince Philip, as well as the Queen Mother, led to Prince Charles's courting of Lady Diana in London and shortly after to their engagement when Prince Charles proposed on the 6th of January 1981, to which Diana agreed. They kept the engagement secret until the official announcement on the 24th of February. For her engagement ring, Diana chose a design by the crown jewelers, Gerard, made of 14 solitaire diamonds and a 14-carat Ceylon sapphire set in 18-carat white gold. She also received a gifted diamond and sapphire brooch from the Queen Mother as an engagement present. Her ring became the engagement choice in 2010 of Kate Middleton, now Duchess of Cambridge and wife of Prince William. Lady Diana became the first English-born woman to marry the heir apparent in over 300 years since Anne Hyde and made history as the first royal bride to have had a paying job before her marriage. On the 29th of July 1981, Diana married Prince Charles at St. Paul's Cathedral in what may describe as a fairy tale wedding. More than 750 million people watched the royal wedding around the globe, and an estimated 600,000 spectators gathered in the streets to catch a glimpse of the soon-to-be Princess of Wales. Diana's dress, valued at £9,000 at the time, had a fabled train of 25 feet that became the envy of so many young women in the 80s. During the ceremony, Diana accidentally reversed the prince's names, and at the request of the couple, the traditional vow of obedience was omitted. On the 21st of June, 1982, Diana gave birth to her first child, Prince William, and two years later, on the 15th of September, Diana birthed her second son, Prince Harry. However, by then, the cracks in the royal marriage were already visible, and several controversial events led to speculation that their union wouldn't last. Five years into their union, the 13-year age gap between them and the numerous accusations of affairs saw the separation of the royal couple. Rumors that Prince Charles had an affair with his ex-girlfriend Camilla Parker Bowles ran rampant, but so did rumors of Diana's alleged affairs. Among the many not-so-secret lovers that Diana possibly had, the most prominent had been Major James Hewitt. According to speculation, Hewitt may even be the father of Diana's second son, Prince Harry. These rumors sourced from the obvious similarities that Harry shares with Hewitt, but despite the evidence, all parties involved deny these claims. Hewitt later admitted that Harry was born two years before they began their affair. In a later recorded tape, Diana revealed a long-kept secret adoration she had for her bodyguard, Barry Manneke. 
after hiring the speech coach Peter Settlin to improve her public speaking abilities. Diana revealed that she was once deeply in love with somebody who worked in a similar field. In 1986, Manneke was transferred to another position after speculation that he could be having an affair with Princess Diana came to light. Manneke worked as a police officer in the Royal Protection Squad and was Diana's personal bodyguard. Shortly after his transfer, Barry died in a motorcycle collision that became speculation of a conspiracy that involved the British intelligence agency MI6. Diana once said in an interview that she had such intimate feelings for the person in question that she would willingly give up her title as princess to run away with him and also described him as the greatest friend she ever had. However, after Penny Jr. published in her 1998 book that they had a sexual relationship, friends and people close to Diana denied the claims, saying it was absurd. Diana blamed her marital problems on Camilla, but later suspected that Prince Charles also had an affair with Tiggy Leg Burke. Tiggy worked as the prince's personal assistant and as the nanny of William and Harry. Diana alleged that Charles wanted her dead so he could continue his affair and eventually marry Tiggy. Accusations flung around wildly until their separation was announced to the House of Commons in December 1992 by the Prime Minister John Major. More accusations against Diana include a possible affair with the art dealer Oliver Hoare. Oliver was a married man at the time, but according to the News of the World newspaper, Diana made more than 300 calls to Hoare. Diana denied that they had a sexual relationship, claiming that he was only a friend, but according to Hoare's obituary, little doubt remains about the possibility. According to media claims, Diana was also linked to former England rugby captain Will Colley, as well as the billionaire Theodore J. Forstman. These claims, however, were never proven, nor evidence produced. As inevitable as it seemed, Diana and Prince Charles' marriage officially ended in divorce on the 28th of August 1996. Following her divorce, Diana dated British-Pakistani heart surgeon Hasnat Khan. Many of her friends described him as the love of her life, and some even say that she described him as Mr. Wonderful. The relationship took place privately, as Khan appeared to be an extremely private person. Except that they met after she visited Lahore on the request of Imran Khan, a family member of Diana's former lover. Diana supposedly lied to the press about their relationship in an effort to keep things quiet. After dating for two years, things sadly ended between them, though no one knows who ended the relationship nor why they separated. A month later, Diana entered into a relationship with Dodi Fayed. Dodi had gone so far as to buy a multi-million dollar yacht called the Yonical to entertain Diana and her sons. She later joined him in the south of France, from where they would meet their fated ends. Today, few know the truth about Lady Diana's life, save for many speculated conspiracies, but one thing is for certain. From her childhood to her later life, all of it seems like valuable material for an entire season of such a series as Downton Abbey. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.